Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We left our crappie pole at the house today. It's uh, the week of Christmas, and probably the last chance that I'm gonna get to come down here and just paddle around the swamp and do like I want to. It'll fill up pretty good with people. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, this is Tuesday. We're gonna try to shoot us a deer. Uh, we got the muzzle loader. And that's what the goal is. We're just going to paddle around some of these. And I have seen a deer on the way over here today. That joker come running out. I thought it was going to run out in front of the buggy. Fella got a net wire fence. If you know what I'm talking about. It's got the square holes along the road bank. And that deer hit it and hair flew everywhere. If it had a, broke its neck, I'd have just stopped and got it. But it bounced off of it and took off back the other way. I said, well, they moving so we got a good chance of seeing a deer now i can't promise you we'll kill one because this is hunting and i am shooting old muzz loader that ain't as accurate as some of the rifles i like to shoot but that's what makes this fun so we really kind of sort of meat hunting i i'd like to shoot a big buck but if that nanny doe just keeps standing on the bank there, I'm mad we're going to put a round ball through her. So y'all hang with us, and let's see what happens today. Nathan's just caught up. Look at them all in them down yonder. Y'all see them squirrels? There's two dead center of the screen up yonder.
before his tail shined. He took off. One sitting on behind him back there in the cypress. See him? Look, there's a third one back there. Fourth one. I see five squirrels right there. Six. I see one on out past him in a tree out there flopping the tail. Six squirrels sitting right here in one spot. Hear them barking. Well, we not squirrel hunting today. We deer hunting. Y'all, I just found me some camouflage netting washed up in a drift over here. I'm sure it come on somebody's stand or duck blind or blowed out of their duck boat or something. It's in rough shape, but works good on my canoe. Camouflage old trunk when that snout sticks out around something. I'll probably tangle it up with a bunch of leaves, lose it. I'm a junker. If I find junk, I have to get it. <laughs> we eased out here off the edge of this creek. Sit down in us a good spot. There's actually a good bit of thick cover that way, that way. And then there's a huge cut over way on back out here on some private land. So them deer may pass through. In fact, right back over here, that little slough, there's a good crossing on it. So We're going to set up, blow our grunt call a few times. Sure would like to shoot at one today. I know y'all are getting tired of me and not killing nothing. Oh, me. Blow old grunt crawl one time. I don't know whose idea it was to fly a jet airplane round around this swamp, but there been more airplanes. I can't imagine why so many people's traveling this time of year. <laughs> Week of Christmas. Mississippi company. Any of y'all ever heard of Will Primo? <laughs> I ain't sponsored by them. I just support my local, local stuff.
Well, y'all, we ain't seen nothing. But I wanted to show y'all this headlight. Now, I can't turn the camera around and show you my face because it's just blind the screen. Y'all, I can see pretty good ways out there. And it's adjustable. Let me prop my gun up right there. It's got a dial on it. See, I can adjust it like that. Man, look at that. Now that is a headlight and it's rechargeable with a USB. It's one of them Dan's force lights. You can dial it down, see, to a square. And then it's got a button on top. Then you hit this setting. That's the two side lights. And then that's all three lights. Then it's got the strobe effect. And then you cut it off. I usually open it up just about like that. Well, I can kind of see what's going on. There, I hold my hand kind of in front of it. It'll, it, You can see a little bit. See us at Dan's Force Light? It's got this thing, and then you can dial it right there. Man, it's a pretty handy light walking in and out of the woods. And then what I like about it is when I'm canoeing and I'm paddling with both hands, I can see where I'm going, not just barely right in front of me. And that's, that's the big purpose for having this. But I did want to share this light. Well, y'all drop a link where y'all can, uh, you can get you one if you want to. I got in the canoe. I was just going to show y'all how good I could see. And see, I got both hands on my paddle. And I realized that phone, my camera, leaving a shadow right there. Well, see this black dot trying to come out. See that glowing up there? That's a marker for the waterway. Nailed to a tree. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I hate we ain't killed nothing. We just got some footage down here in the swamp. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors. Y'all have a good one.